In the glittering world of Hollywood's golden era, where dreams were woven from starlight and fame was a double-edged sword, few stories resonate as strongly as that of Susan Day. Her name conjures images of innocence and allure, but behind the facade of glamour lay an exceptionally difficult journey, one marked by triumph, heartbreak, and an untimely demise. What secrets lay hidden behind Susan Day's captivating smile? And what darkness remains lurked beneath the surface of her seemingly charmed life? Join us as we unravel the mysteries of Susan Day's life and tragic ending. Susan Day's Early Life Susan Day, born Susan Halleck Day, graced the world with her presence on a chilly December 10, 1952, in the quaint town of Pekin, Illinois. She was welcomed by her parents, Mr. and Mrs. Robert Day, as their second daughter, bringing an extra sparkle to their family. Robert Smith Day, a man of ambition and grit, was born in 1925 and departed from this world in 2016. Originating from the busy streets of New York State, he was the offspring of an immigrant from the land of Switzerland. Harnessing the opportunities provided by the GI Bill, Robert delved into the realm of education, graduating with flying colors from the New York University School of Journalism. This marked the inception of a remarkable journey in the realm of journalism, spanning a glorious three decades. Beginning his career as a humble reporter in his native state, Robert's quest for knowledge and experience led him to Pennsylvania before destiny beckoned him to the illustrious halls of the Pekin Daily Times in March 1952. Ruth Pyle Day, a woman of compassion and resilience, entered the world in 1925 and departed in 1961. Hailing from the charming state of Indiana, she adorned the profession of nursing with her gentle touch and caring heart. As fate intertwined their lives, Ruth and Robert embraced the joy of parenthood once again after Susan's arrival, extending their familial bonds with the addition of two more cherished children. The days didn't stick around in Pekin for too long. Around a year or two after their daughter Susan was born, Robert got a job as a city editor for the Gannett Company in Westchester, New York. Later on, he became the editor of the Standard Star in New Rochelle, New York. Unfortunately, when Susan was just eight years old, her mother Ruth passed away. Robert eventually remarried to Gail Schellenberger, who was born in Ohio. Interestingly, Gail brought a unique touch to the family with her Midwestern roots and a vibrant personality that contrasted with the urban setting of New York. Things took a turn in 1968 when Susan was 15. Her stepmother, Gail, thought Susan had the potential for modeling and sent her photo to a New York agency. Despite dabbling in modeling briefly, Susan found her true calling at the age of 17 in 1970 when she landed the role of Lori Partridge in the popular TV series The Partridge Family, catapulting her into stardom and forever imprinting her image in pop culture history. The Journey of Versatility and Resilience Day started her career as a model, stepping into the world of fashion. Her very first big break in modeling was being chosen for the cover photo of a booklet about menstruation, aimed at young girls called Getting to Know Yourself by Persette's Tampons. It was a significant milestone for her. Later on, she transitioned into acting, landing a major role as Lori Partridge in the popular TV show The Partridge Family which aired from 1970 to 1974. Surprisingly, she was only 17 when she secured this role, without any prior acting experience. After her stint on The Partridge Family, she briefly revisited her role for an animated series by Hannah Barbera called Partridge Family 2200 AD. However, she was eventually replaced by another actress, Sherry Alberoni. Undeterred, Day made her return to television in 1977, starring in the short-lived sitcom Loves Me, Loves Me Not. Transitioning into films, Day's debut on the big screen was as a passenger in the intense 1972 airline hijack movie Skyjacked, alongside renowned actor Charlton Heston. But it wasn't just mainstream films that showcased her talent. At 1977, she took on a challenging role in a made-for-television movie titled Mary Jane Harper Cried Last Night. In this movie, she portrayed a troubled young mother struggling with deep psychological issues, who unfortunately begins to take her frustrations out on her toddler daughter. It was a stark departure from her earlier roles, 
demonstrating her versatility and depth as an actress. Back in 1977, Day had a big break when she starred alongside William Catt in a movie called First Love, which was directed by Joan Darling. Around the same time, she also made an appearance on the TV show Barnaby Jones in an episode called Testament of Power. Moving forward, in 1981, she acted alongside Albert Finney in a cool science fiction flick called Looker, which was both written and directed by Michael Crichton. At 1986, she took on a significant role in a movie named Echo Park. In this film, she played a character who was both a struggling waitress and an aspiring actress. As if that wasn't interesting enough, her character also takes up a unique job as a stripper who delivers singing telegrams. Then, from 1986 to 1992, she graced our screens as Grace Van Owen, a deputy district attorney turned judge, in the hit TV series L.A. Law. Her performance was so remarkable that she bagged the prestigious Golden Globe Award in 1988 for her leading role in the drama series. Not only that, she got nominated for the same award for the next four years straight. Her talent didn't go unnoticed by the Emmy Awards either. She received nominations for Outstanding Lead Actress in a Drama Series for three consecutive years, in 1987, 1988, and 1989. She even hosted an episode of Saturday Night Live in 1992. In the same year, she starred in a TV show called Love and War. This show kept going until 1995, but in 1993, they decided to replace her with Annie Potts. The reason was that the producers thought she didn't click with her co-star, Jay Thomas. But that didn't stop Susan Day from making her mark. That same year, she took on a new challenge. She not only acted, but also produced a movie called Lies and Lullabies. In this movie, Susan played the role of a pregnant woman struggling with addiction to cocaine. Interestingly, she wasn't just a talented actress. She was also mentioned in Shirley Jones's memoir. Shirley wrote that Susan was the only one from the cast who consistently turned down invitations for Partridge family reunions. Back in 1972, Susan Day wrote a book called Susan Day's Secrets on Boys, Beauty, and Popularity. The Hidden Romance, Susan's portrayal of Laura, the eldest daughter, was a cornerstone of the success of the Partridge family. Alongside Shirley Jones, who exuded maternal warmth as the family's head, and the charming David Cassidy as her on-screen stepbrother, the chemistry was palpable on set. Behind the camera, however, the plot thickened. Susan found herself not just playing the role of Laura, but also caught in the unexpected throes of a secret infatuation with David Cassidy. Despite their on-screen sibling dynamic, sparks flew between them off-camera, adding an interesting layer of complexity to their interactions. It's said that Susan's crush on David blossomed quietly, like a hidden melody waiting to be heard. Despite the show's wholesome facade, the behind-the-scenes drama mirrored the tangled emotions often found in real-life relationships. Shirley Jones is not just a guiding force on screen, but off-screen as well. With a motherly intuition, she reportedly cautioned Susan about the pitfalls of pursuing a romantic connection with David. She warned of his focus on his burgeoning solo music career and hinted at his potential emotional unavailability. Yet, Susan, perhaps swept up in the whirlwind of young love and the allure of Hollywood romance, chose to disregard Shirley's sage advice. She pressed on with her romantic pursuit, navigating the treacherous waters of infatuation amidst the bright lights and glamour of showbiz. Unfortunately, it turns out Shirley was onto something when she expressed doubts about David Cassidy's suitability for Susan during their time on the Partridge family. Despite the show's moderate success, it was abruptly canceled after only four seasons, leaving Susan without the stable platform she had grown accustomed to. However, during this tumultuous period, Susan finally found herself in the company of David Cassidy. Her anticipation for their connection was palpable, but as history unfolded, it became clear that their encounter wouldn't blossom into the enduring romance Susan had hoped for. David Cassidy, in his own words penned in his 1994 memoir, admitted to feeling hesitant about reciprocating Susan's romantic advances. Their night together, once filled with promise, fizzled out into a brief and ultimately inconsequential one-night stand, leaving Susan with dashed hopes and unanswered questions. 
Before his untimely passing in 2017, David Cassidy revealed that communication between him and Susan had ceased since the early 1990s, leaving fans to speculate about the cause of their estrangement. Many deduced that David's candid revelations about their fleeting romance in his memoir may have played a significant role in their falling out. Despite the romantic spark between Susan and David dimming over time, they managed to maintain a cordial relationship until at least 1990. Their public appearance together as presenters at the MTV Music Video Awards that year hinted at a lingering sense of friendship. However, the exact reasons behind their eventual estrangement remain shrouded in mystery. While David's admission of never feeling attracted to Susan and viewing her more as a sister may have contributed to her disappointment, there could be deeper layers to their story yet to be uncovered. Susan Day and Family In 1976, Susan Day embarked on an unexpected journey of love and matrimony. This journey led her to Leonard Lenny Hershen, a seasoned manager and agent deeply entrenched in the entertainment industry. They met within the bustling corridors of Hollywood, where Lenny was diligently championing Susan's career aspirations. Their love story was similar to a captivating Hollywood script, characterized by its unlikely beginnings and profound connection, despite a substantial 25-year age difference. Their shared passion for life and artistry transcended societal norms, ultimately culminating in a heartfelt wedding ceremony in 1976. Two years into their union, the pitter-patter of tiny feet graced their lives with the birth of their daughter, Sarah, infusing their marriage with newfound joy and purpose. Despite the demands of their respective careers, Susan and Lenny navigated the challenges of parenthood and marriage with unwavering dedication and love. However, as with many relationships in the limelight, their journey was not devoid of trials. In 1981, after five years of marriage, Susan and Lenny parted ways amicably, marking the end of both their personal and professional collaboration. Yet, amidst the upheaval of divorce, Susan remained undeterred in her pursuit of artistic fulfillment and career advancement. In 1998, Susan found solace and companionship in the arms of Bernard Safransky, a distinguished TV producer revered for his creative prowess. Their secret wedding symbolized a fresh start and a renewed commitment to love and partnership. As fate would have it, Susan and Bernard embarked on a collaborative venture, bringing their creative talents together in the production of Whose Child Is This? The War for Baby Jessica in 1994. This poignant TV drama, inspired by real-life events, captured the hearts of audiences with its gripping narrative and powerful performances. Despite the passage of time, the legacy of their collaboration continues to resonate within the annals of cinematic history, serving as a timeless reminder of love's enduring power amidst life's trials and tribulations. In 2004, Susan Day, celebrated for her captivating performances in television and film, made a conscious decision to step away from the glamorous world of acting were appearances graced two episodes of the gripping crime drama series Third Watch, leaving audiences puzzled by her sudden departure. Yet, unlike the typical Hollywood narrative, she chose not to provide any explanation, opting instead for a quiet retreat from the public eye. After enjoying over three decades of being under the constant glare of the spotlight, she, it seems, found solace in the sanctuary of her private life. Her decision to keep her personal affairs discreet owned to the mystique surrounding her sudden departure from acting. Despite bidding adieu to the silver screen, her financial security remained intact, with an estimated net worth of $10 million, proof of her successful career. Her husband, Bernard Safransky, a prominent figure in the movie industry as an executive producer, complimented her journey with his achievements, boasting a net worth of $4 million. Together, they found a haven in New York, close to the roots where Susan's journey in the entertainment realm began. Their familial hanging included Susan's daughter, Sarah, from a previous marriage. Though they hadn't expanded their family beyond this, their bond remained strong. Sarah, inspired by her mother's illustrious career, ventured into acting herself. Her moment in the spotlight arrived with Danger Island, a crime drama that mirrored her mother's earlier works. The portrayal of Claire showcased Sarah's talent and hinted at a promising career ahead. However, 
Just as quickly as she entered the scene, Sarah seemed to vanish from it, leaving fans interested and longing for more. The uncertainty surrounding her future endeavors mirrored her mother's mysterious journey. Battle against silent threats. In a stunning turn of events, a message has surfaced from a hospital bearing grave news about the legendary 70-year-old actress, Susan Day. Known far and wide for her extraordinary talent and timeless allure on the silver screen, Susan now finds herself in a dire state, battling for her life in a clinic deep within the heart of Illinois. This revelation sent shockwaves through the entertainment industry and stirred deep concern among her legions of adoring fans. The official statement issued by Susan Day's representative confirms the grim reality. The actress is currently ensnared in a deep coma as a result of a sinister poisoning incident. Later on, Susan's daughter Sarah would bravely reveal the sequence of events leading up to her mother's sudden and harrowing illness. The incident that landed Susan at the hospital began at midnight, as she sat in the solitude of her home fully engrossed in a TV show. She suddenly felt an urgent need to visit the bathroom, but little did she know that this seemingly harmless trip would thrust her into a nightmare. As she emerged from the bathroom, Susan found herself unexplainably drenched in a cold sweat, her heart pounding in her chest like a war drum. Her bright eyes quickly began to dilate to an unnatural size, betraying the sinister grip that had taken hold of her. The family of the beloved actress sprang into action when they realized how serious the situation was. They quickly called for urgent medical help, setting off a frantic rush to try and save her. To everyone's shock, the medical team revealed that carbon monoxide poisoning was behind the distressing incident. This unexpected turn of events left everyone uncertain about Susan's condition. Some suspect that Susan's habit of smoking cigarettes infused with essential oils in a room filled with smoke might have triggered the poisoning. The dangerously high levels of carbon monoxide found in her surroundings paint a worrying picture of her health and future. Battling with her health, Susan equally found herself grappling with the weight of sleepless nights, resorting to sleeping pills in a desperate bid for rest. However, her reliance on these medications only worsened her struggles, plunging her into a harrowing cycle of dependency. Unknown to her, the e-cigarettes she turned to for solace also proved to be a source of peril. In a cruel twist of fate, she unwittingly consumed toxic chemicals, further compromising her already fragile health. The toll on her nervous system was catastrophic, and as the days passed, she remained in critical condition. In response to this tragedy, there has been a resounding call for action. Advocates are pushing for mandatory carbon monoxide detectors in households across the United States, recognizing them as essential safeguards that could potentially save countless lives. Beyond the Spotlight Susan Day doesn't just act on screen, she's a real-life champion for important causes. Her passion for making the world a better place shines through in everything she does. Whether it's speaking up for the vulnerable or lending a hand in times of crisis, she's there, making a difference. From standing up against child abuse to supporting disaster relief efforts, Day's activism knows no bounds. She's not afraid to use her voice and influence to shine a light on issues that matter. Through her involvement with organizations like the National Center for Missing and Exploited Children and the American Red Cross, she's shown her commitment to making a positive impact. Her dedication goes beyond just talking the talk. She walks the walk. In her roles as an actress, she's tackled tough subjects head-on, bringing attention to social issues that often go unnoticed. For example, her powerful portrayal of a mother facing her child's terminal illness in the 1984 TV movie, Who Will Love My Children? Her performances aren't just entertainment. They're a call to action, urging viewers to take a stand and make a difference in the world. The film's poignant portrayal of the family's journey through the challenges of childhood cancer resonated deeply with audiences, touching hearts and minds alike. It didn't just tell a story. It became a beacon of hope for countless families navigating similar adversities, breaking down barriers of stigma and fear surrounding the disease. Viewers found solace in the authenticity and sensitivity with which the subject was approached, fostering empathy and understanding. Her commitment to social causes goes beyond mere words. 
It's a reflection of her unwavering belief in the power of advocacy to affect positive change. Her involvement in philanthropy isn't a side project. It's woven into the fabric of her identity as an actress and a compassionate individual. Through her tireless efforts, she not only elevates her legacy, but also inspires others in the entertainment industry to leverage their platforms for meaningful causes. What sets her apart in her philanthropic endeavors is her laser focus on initiatives benefiting children. Her dedication to supporting organizations that prioritize the well-being of young ones underscores her deep empathy and concern for the most vulnerable members of society. Whether through fundraising, awareness campaigns, or personal involvement, her impact extends far beyond the silver screen, leaving an indelible mark on both her career and the lives she touches. Susan Day, renowned for her roles in television and film, extends her influence beyond the screen as a dedicated advocate for vulnerable populations. Her commitment to philanthropy spans decades, with a particular focus on safeguarding children and aiding communities in times of crisis. One of her most enduring partnerships lies with the National Center for Missing and Exploited Children, an organization tirelessly working to protect youngsters from harm. Through her steadfast support, Day not only lends her voice to raise awareness, but also actively participates in initiatives aimed at enhancing child safety measures. Drawing from her own experiences and emotions, she brings a personal touch to her advocacy, igniting a passion for child welfare in those who listen. Beyond her involvement with children's causes, Day channels her compassion into disaster relief efforts. Teaming up with the American Red Cross, she rolls up her sleeves to provide essential aid to communities grappling with the aftermath of natural disasters. From distributing supplies to offering comfort to those in distress, her hands-on approach underscores her genuine desire to alleviate suffering and rebuild shattered lives. The synergy between Day's philanthropic endeavors and her acting career is evident in the authenticity she brings to her roles. Her deep-seated empathy for others permeates her performances, infusing them with a poignant sincerity that resonates with audiences. Each character she portrays becomes a vessel through which she channels her advocacy, amplifying the messages of hope, resilience, and compassion she champions off-screen. The Radiant Legacy of Susan Day Susan Day's journey as an actress is a tale woven with industry acclaim, the kind that shapes careers and leaves a permanent mark on the entertainment world. This recognition isn't just about shiny trophies or fancy titles. It's about acknowledging the sheer brilliance an actor brings to their craft. For instance, Day's remarkable run with Emmy Award nominations. Her performances in iconic shows like The Partridge Family and L.A. Law earned her nods from the industry elite. These nominations weren't mere nods. They were shining endorsements of her talent, showcasing her ability to embody characters with depth and nuance. But industry recognition is more than just a pat on the back. It's a spotlight that illuminates an actor's path, elevating them from the crowd and cementing their credibility. Those Emmy nominations were like beacons for Day, guiding audiences and industry insiders alike to recognize her as a force to be reckoned with. Her journey is peppered with these milestones, from her Emmy nods to her prestigious place on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. In essence, industry recognition isn't just about applause, it's about carving out a legacy that withstands the test of time. For her, each accolade represents a chapter in a story of success, talent, and enduring influence in the world of acting. Susan Day has made a lasting impact on the world of entertainment that goes beyond just the characters she's played. Her influence has been profound and enduring, shaping the way we see entertainment today. Not only has she left her mark on screen, but she's also been a guiding light for up-and-coming actors, sharing her wisdom and experience to help them grow. Through her iconic roles like Lori Partridge and Grace Van Owen, she has created characters that stick with us, embodying values like resilience, determination, and kindness that resonate across generations. These characters have become beloved symbols, showing us the power of strength and compassion. But her impact isn't just limited to the characters she's portrayed. She's been a strong advocate for diversity and inclusion in the entertainment industry, working behind the scenes to create more opportunities for voices that often go unheard. Her dedication to making the industry more equitable 
has helped pave the way for positive change. Beyond her work in entertainment, she has also used her voice to speak out on important social issues, raising awareness and advocating for meaningful change. Her commitment to making the world a better place extends far beyond the roles she plays on screen, making her a true force for good in the world. Starting as a young actress, she quickly caught the eye of industry veterans who recognized her raw talent and potential. Under their guidance, she blossomed into a formidable force, captivating audiences with her magnetic presence on screen. Beyond her on-screen prowess, Susan Day's impact extends far beyond the confines of Hollywood studios. She became a trailblazer for diversity and representation, using her platform to amplify voices that were often overlooked. Whether it was advocating for more inclusive casting or championing underrepresented communities, she made sure her influence was felt in every corner of the industry. Her philanthropic endeavors became the stuff of legend, with her dedicating countless hours and resources to causes close to her heart. From supporting education initiatives to fighting for social justice, she used her fame as a tool for good, leaving a lasting legacy that transcends mere stardom. Through it all, Susan Day remained a beacon of inspiration for aspiring actors and actresses, proving that success is not just about fame and fortune, but about using one's talents to leave the world a better place. What are your thoughts about the life and tragic ending of Susan Day? Let us have your opinions in the comments below.